Zane's talking about everything from sex to his time in One Direction in his new autobiography coming this fall, and we've got the first preview. Gigi Hadid's boyfriend is about to open up in a way he never has before, because he's dropping his autobiography on November 1st. Simply titled Zane, the book will explore the singer's life and career from his childhood all the way up to his current days as a solo artist. The publisher of the book, Penguin Random House, released the following statement on its contents. Zane opens up with a collection of thoughts, inspirations, personal stories, notes, and drawings, and never-before-seen personal photographs. So not only do we get to read about Zane's life from his point of view, we're also going to get an up-close look at his personal drawings, notes, and photographs. Uh, yes please. Sign me up for that pre-order ASAP. But if that pitch isn't enough to sell you on Zane's book, here's a pretty juicy excerpt he released from the book. Every lyric I've written has a story behind it. All the hard work that went into the creation of Pillow Talk was worthwhile because as soon as it was finished, I intuitively felt I was on the right path. It was a sick cut, nailing the exact sound I wanted to capture in my music. I was also able to sing about a subject that I hadn't really been able to go near while I was in One Direction, sex. Okay, so we'll have to pick up a copy to get more intimate details on Zayn's 1D days and songwriting process, but as far as his whole claim that he was unable to go near the subject of sex while with 1D, we have to respectfully disagree. Sure, the boys never dropped the F-bomb or described a bed as a paradise slash war zone in their albums, but they still at least insinuated sex in many of their songs. We can't go over all of them because that could actually take hours, but do yourself a favor and re-listen to No Control, Rock Me, Change Your Ticket, and Another World. And be sure to hear Between the Lines. The innuendos in those songs are plenty, and the sex insinuations are not that hard to decode. But we get it, Zane. You just really love being able to say the F word in your music, and that's okay. Hashtag you do you. All that being said, whether you're a fan of Zayn or not, you have to respect an artist who is honest about his vulnerability as a public figure and his genuine desire to be judged on his own terms, rather than what the press has to say about him. And considering how open Zayn has been about his struggles with anxiety and his tumultuous relationship with his 1D bandmates, we have a feeling his book is going to be jam-packed with some very interesting stuff. Alright guys, it's time for you to let me know what you think of Zane's book preview. Is it juicy enough to get you excited to pick up a copy? Let me hear all your thoughts in the comments below, and after that click right over here to watch a debatable episode all about Sia's best music videos. Thanks for watching Newsfeed, and be sure to subscribe. I'm your girl Tiffany Taylor, and I'll catch you later.